crazy. That's crazy. We hardly know each other. I don't know. I mean, look at Becca. You know, my sister's friend. One guy waits on her at Bennigan's, and by the end of the meal, they both knew they had found the one. You're right. You're totally right. I mean, it could happen, right? Not for me. What about Texter? Texter has yet to make verbal contact. I mean, this guy could have had surgery, leaving him without a voice box, breathing through a stoma, and I would never know because I've never actually heard his voice. Well, I doubt he has a stoma. That's not the point. I can't text. You know, I'm not charming via text. Well, maybe you should just stop texting. But it's not just texting. It's email. It's voicemail. It's snail mail. That's regular mail. Whatever, none of it's working. I had this guy leave me a voicemail at work. So I called him at home. And then he emailed me to my Blackberry. And so I texted to his cell. And then he emailed me to my home account. And the whole thing just got out of control. And I miss the days where you had one phone number and one answering machine. And that one answering machine housed one cassette tape. And that one cassette tape either had a message from the guy or it didn't. And now you just have to go around checking all these different portals just to get rejected by seven different technologies. It's exhausting. Hmm. What about that uh, MySpace guy? Jude. I like him. Good. Yeah. I felt like we connected. Great.